Welcome to the short video on Passkey and .NET Identity in .NET 10. If you have been using user ID and password for your websites, you might have seen some places where you can sign in using Passkey. Passkeys represent the future of secure, passwordless authentication using biometrics, device pins, or security keys to provide a seamless and phishing-resistant login experience. My name is Brugain and welcome to .NET Mastery. If you are new to the channel, make sure that you subscribe to the channel, that way you are always notified of the new videos. .NET 10 has already implemented passkeys in the .NET identity, and creating a project with that and getting started with that is super simple. Let me create a project and show you what I mean by that, and for that I will switch to Visual Studio, and let me create a new Blazor project. Let me call that Blazor demo app here and create that. We will be using .NET 10. Authentication will be individual user account and interactive mode will be server. With all the default settings here, let me hit the create button. Perfect, we have our project here. If I open the app settings, we have the connection string and let me update the database name to be something simple. We have the ASP.NET Blazor demo app. Let me save that and I will run migration. Right now, I have not modified anything. I will do the update database. That way, it will push the migration. We already have the migration in the data folder and we have the DB context. Perfect, that is done here. Let me run the application. The application is up and running and we have the default template. Let me go to register here and try to register for an account. Perfect. And then I will confirm that. Now if I go to login, I can log in using that account, test.gmail.com. And that works. But with that, what happens is right now we are logging in using the username and password and that is working. But we also have an option to log in with Passkey. In order to enable Passkey, we will have to log in. And in the default template that you can see here, we have the Passkeys. So there we need to add a passkey and that will be specific to this account or this computer. You can see we have the sign in option of using fingerprint. Let me do that and that works. I will give it a name here of Sparky Laptop Passkey. We can add more passkeys on the account because if we are logging in using multiple devices, we will have to create a passkey for that particular device. With that, if I log out here, and now if I try login with passkey, you can see we have a saved passkey. I can continue here, and it is asking me for PIN, or I can scan my fingerprint, and it signs me in. That way, I do not have to use the username and password anymore. If I go to login again, login with a passkey, and we can enter PIN, that works. With that, you can see the advantage that Passkey brings to the table. Your device handles the authentication automatically using biometrics or device PIN. And they cannot be stolen through fake websites since they are cryptographically tied to specific websites. The technology of Passkey is promising but still in early adoption phase and Microsoft has already implemented that in the built-in Blazor. I hope you enjoyed the video and for more exciting videos, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and I will see you guys in some other video.